Hey yo everybody, Haku here with Haku and A number 14. I'm a guess 14. I never know <laughs> I never know the number with these, but I'm guessing 14. Um and yeah, let's get into some comments. I don't think I always forget, like, I always have this huge list of things that I'm like, I'm going to say it at the beginning of the hot Q&A, just so it's like a quick update thing, and it's a general area for when I need to tell people stuff, and then, then it comes around time to record, and I'm like, I don't remember a single thing. So, um, yeah, I guess I don't remember if I'm supposed to be telling you anything this week. Sorry, I just scratched my face. But, um, pretty much... Uh, let's just start the comments. So, Aldnoa.0 2014 A slash Z24 said on the um, last week's Tower of God discussion, dangerous everywhere in this new arc. Um, yeah, definitely. I, I'm loving this one though. Um, and they also said on the review for last week's Tower of God chapter, I like this chapter so far. And on the live reaction to this one, the end of this chapter is hype as real. Um, it, yes, it is very, very much hype. I loved the ending to this week's chapter. Like, it was, it was so good. That introduction scene and then the, um, Lilial and Chilial stuff, so good. Um, they also commented on the most recent Keys Niver review, said, I watched this episode and it's just so sad, what do you think? And yeah, I, man, I definitely got some feels. Keys Niver is great at like, if, if any of you are watching this that haven't watched that anime, it's great at end scenes. Like, the end of every episode has an amazing, amazing scene, and this week's is probably one of my favorites, like... It's a really, really powerful scene, and the uh, voice acting performance is amazing. Aaron, hashtag 80s rocked, said, um, Jeffrey Dean Morgan needed, er, about the, um, Walking Dead finale, Jeffrey Dean Morgan needed a shave and a regular broken-in leather biker jacket. He also needed to hit the gym and put on 15 pounds of muscle and get some bulk on him, but fan pressure caused Kirkman, Hurd, and Gimple to rush it, bringing in Negan... My mind will never be changed that this is what happened. Season 7, Episode 1 should have been the lineup. That would have been perfect. Honestly, I agree. I do think that would have been better. Like, it would have been a way, way better cliffhanger if, like, he just stepped out, said, Hi, I'm Negan, and then, bam, that is where, that's where we end the season. That would have been a great cliffhanger, and then we get something else Season 7. Instead of cutting it off mid-scene... And um, just having an incompleted scene, because you know we're not going to get the completion to the scene, just like with the mid-season finale last time. Um, it's just going to be completely reshot differently when we come back for Season 7's premiere. So, in that case, I, th I still think it was a really dumb choice on the uh, writer's part. I do think that fan pressure probably caused them to bring in Negan way early. Because a lot of the material that um, a lot of the material that season six covered in the comics should have probably been drawn out to be at least like a full other season. We squeezed what could have been two, three, se two or three seasons of content into one season uh, when we could have um, stretched it out a little bit more and made it more developed. Not saying drag it out, but we could have developed it more because there were a lot of things that did feel rushed and skimmed over that um, we probably should have spent a little more, a bit more time on. And yet, fans have been saying for seasons, like crying for Negan to come in, so that is, uh, fan pressure is probably a part of it. Um, but yeah, I think that it would have been way better if they would have just saved that for um, the premiere and not screwed us over with just giving us a half scene. Um, Future Guy 2045 on my live reaction to, well, I'm recording this on Tuesday, so to yesterday's um, Tower of God chapter. And before I, um, 
Before I continue, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm recording this on Tuesday, so if your comments aren't in this and you commented them on, like, Tuesday night or Wednesday morning, don't worry. I'll try to get them into next week's, um, hot Q&A. I just sometimes record these on, like, Tuesdays instead of Wednesdays so that they're already recorded for me to post on Wednesday. But Future Guy 2045 said, lol, when you said, oh, fu oh, oh, fuck, I literally burst out laughing. That was pretty much my reaction, too. Also, can I just comment on how amazing the artwork has become? SIU has re worked really hard to improve his skills, and it definitely shows. I mean, look at the first chapter, and compared to this chapter, it's amazing. Yeah, the artwork for Tower of God has gotten incredible lately. Like, it's always been good. Even in Volume 1, I personally thought that a lot of the artwork was good, but it's been slowly improving throughout the years, and... Especially, it seems like, in the past few arcs, it's been making huge leaps forward. Like, Revolution Road, my favorite arc, looks amazing, and then Dollar Show looks even better than that, and then even now with the, um, with the name hunt station, it looks, it looks so good. Um, Prince Blaze said on the last, uh, Pokemon Black 2 Nuzlocke video, your team's alright. Thank you. Thanks a ton. I appreciate it. Anime Watcher said, I've been rereading Tower of God and I noticed that SIU definitely improved with the art, especially with the female anatomy, Lenny Face. Yeah, yeah he has. Like, I, I've never been a big Androssi fanboy or anything, but Androssi last chapter, or this chapter rather, Andro my, my girl thick, but um, yeah, same with Yuri this chapter, she looked amazing. And uh, of course, say, Zha Zha. And, um, Ma Ryun and Liliel and Chiliel, and of course, my top waifu, Albelda. <laughs> so, um, yeah, SIU has definitely improved. Um, Mike Nemp said this was a good chapter, finally, an explanation of Bomb's power, and also Dad Androsido. Um, I don't mind the split up. I wouldn't even mind seeing Team Sweet and Sour f for quite not. Wouldn't mind not seeing Team Sweet and Sour for quite a while. I think it'd be good for the overall story to accumulate the strong members into one team and start phasing out some of the other characters into the background and having them appear from time to time. Yeah, that all sounds great. I love the way that they split up, so I'm perfectly happy with it. And personally, I think I prefer, I prefer them all together and then we lose a few characters here and there, like they die or have to be left behind for whatever reason. But, um... Yeah, I'm really cool with the way they did this. This was good, and I'm happy with it. Um, ba Martin said, Hey man, like the video, do you think you could check out my small channel, please? Also, how do you record your screen? I almost wasn't going to put it in here, but I think this is good. I, I only have like, a hundred some, like 163 subscribers, so I'm not like this huge guru to tell you um, advice, but some advice I do have is that ask, like, going on to people's videos and asking people to look at your channel is not a good way to really get people interested in your channel. I mean, just post your videos and if there are people that like them, they'll come to them. Or, um, just at, like, put it out there on your social media. Or, um, what else? Or if there's like a forum with a thread somewhere that says, hey, if you do, uh, it looks like you do gaming videos, if you do gaming videos posted here, post it there because that's a specific place for you to share it and advertise it. But when you go on other people's videos and ask them to look at yours, people generally just don't like it. It's kind of sub for subby. Um, and also I wanted to leave this one in here because they asked how I record my screen and um, I use OBS for, uh, well, for like my face cam and I just use my built-in laptop um, camera for face cam and for these normal videos where it's just me talking or whatever. But for any kind of gameplay or looking at, um, or looking at something on the internet or whatever, I use OBS because OBS is free. They're not paying me to say this, of course. I wish. But OBS is free, and I know that there are YouTubers with, like, over a million subs that still use OBS. So, um, it's definitely high quality. I mean, it works. It's just one of those things that it just kind of works. Um, 
So that's what I use. I use OBS for recording and streaming. Ben Brown on my Monmuzu Online's top 25 Monster Girls list said, Haku really likes the Bug Eyes. Yes, my friend Ben, I, I do like the Bug Eyes. And if you haven't seen that video, I would say go go check it out. I'm going to push one of my videos at you guys. If you would, I worked I worked a bit of a while on that one. So um, please, please show that one some love, guys. Please. Um, Mike Nemp said, I think the, er, about my... Um, new threats discussion for Tower of God said uh, I think the three-way fights would definitely be interesting and something we haven't really seen before I think if it takes that route I'd enjoy seeing Rachel's team take the lead in terms of strength over bombs and the twin princesses team absolutely no evidence or anything to suggest it but I but since Rachel needs new members I'd love to see them bring Varagarv on Rachel's team bring back Varagarv on Rachel's team. That's just the fanboy in me though is it's 99% chance not to happen. I feel like I'd prefer that to a completely new set of FUG members that we've never seen before since we have sort of a history with Varagarv and he was taken away from the story so soon after not doing a whole lot. Although if he's returning in some other big way I'd be fine with that as well. I definitely think Rachel's team is getting some new members from FUG. Don't know if it'll be Varagarv, but if it is Varagarv, I will be super, super happy about that. I've said before, though, that I think we're getting a, um, I think we're going to be getting a Bay Road arc in the future. And if we get a Bay Road arc, I feel like Varagarv might be important there. So, um, if Varagarv doesn't return on Rachel's team, maybe he will return with his own group or whatever whenever we have a uh, Bay Road arc. Because I think that there are certain places throughout the tower that are like mentioned in SIU's lore so much that it'd be a little bit disappointing if we didn't go there at some point and Bay Road is one of those places I think it'd be disappointing if at some point we didn't go to Bay Road. Gabriel Lancelot said uh, I wonder if the two twins know about Bomb at all since he took out Joaquin and he was as strong as a C rank right? And we can assume Bomb is even stronger now post revolution so yeah, I hope they know he's a thing. Bomb's a lot stronger than Andrasi at this point, right? Um, I said, yeah, I think they probably know about him. And of course, this chapter proved that they do know about Juvial Grace. I said, yeah, they probably know about him because he's a Slayer candidate and an Irregular. So since they're actually Zahard's daughters, then they probably know Zahard's enemies. And I would say that Bomb is probably close to the very, very top of D rank and strength now. So he's probably a tiny bit stronger than like Androsi, the Twins, Sachi, and Kaiser. I'd say the Twins, Sachi, and Kaiser are probably just a little stronger than Androsi. But Androsi could like really pull a fighting spirit thing and beat one of the Twins or beat Sachi or Kaiser if she really, really tried. But um, I think... In general, they're stronger than her, and Bomb is, in general, a little stronger than them. Um, he also said, you have great points. Off-topic comment, do you think Bomb is lacking drive and burning passion to climb the tower? I feel like he needs something other than finding Rachel to get stronger, a real purpose for himself. Um, well, well, we saw he has the purpose, um, this new chapter that just came out that um, he has the purpose of, um, ah, I lost my train of thought, of wanting to find out more about himself at the floor of death. Um, another thing though is that uh, even before that, I hadn't answered that in the comments yet because I was, um, was kind of lazy to go look it up, but I know a few chapters back when he's talking to Yuri, he says that FUG isn't totally in the wrong or whatever, because the Zahard, the Zahard family does a bunch of terrible stuff too. So Bomb said that he wa that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to stop the injustice in the tower. And um, Yuri smiled or whatever and was like, oh, so you found a new dream then. So right now he wants to kind of find Rachel, um, find himself in a way, and he wants to stop the injustice of the tower. Um... Roshan English said, I love the video. Thank you a ton. And also he said, do you think Bomb could beat Kaiser? I want to say yes, but then again, Kaiser has a thousand years of experience. I say, yeah, Bomb can definitely beat Kaiser. 
I mean, I don't think it's going to be just a destroying victory type thing. I think it'll probably be close, but I do think Bond can beat Kaiser. Um, and uh, Aegis Slasher said, Snek is a great name. Thank you so much. And um, that's a really cool channel name as well, Aegis Slasher. Um, I think I'm subscribed to them. Yeah, am I? Yeah, I am. So, um, yeah, that was a really cool name. And thank you a ton for the comment. Um, Hard Under Blade Review said, Not a fan of sub for sub either. I think people should only sub if they really enjoy the content of the channel. And he said, uh, Kingdom is weekly manga. It's really good. I know King loves manga. If you need another person to back, back it up, I got you. One of my top ten seinen manga. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about adding Kingdom to the channel. Also thinking about maybe adding Attack on Titan, because ever since I've started this, I've had so many people telling me to do Tokyo Ghoul Re and or Attack on Titan. And I don't quite personally feel like doing Tokyo Ghoul. Like, I like it, but I'm just... I'm not that into it to actually cover it on the channel. And I guess the same is a little true of Attack on Titan, but I don't know. I'm considering adding Attack on Titan since so many people are interested in seeing it. And um, I'm interested in adding Kingdom because even though people haven't been telling me to review it or anything, I personally, I think I want to check it out and give it a chance. Um, Gabriel Lancelot said, uh, if you like medieval sword fighting with epic generals, then you'll love the series. Kingdom's a great manga. Okay, so thank you again. More, um, more, uh, hype, more, um, power behind Kingdom, I guess. No consensus as well said Kingdom is weekly. Personally, I've lost interest, but I can see its appeal. Yeah, see, that's the way I feel with so many series. Like, so many series I'll read, and then I'll be like, I don't feel like reading this for a few months, and then I'll marathon it, then leave it for a few months, then marathon it. Um, so yeah, I just, I think I'm gonna like stream in increments, me reading and catching up to Kingdom, and then maybe adding it to the channel. I don't know if I will or not. Um, Mike Nemp said about last chapter of Tower of God, I'm pretty sure that panel is just the cut to them throwing the body in the closet, and it's just drawn weirdly. It does appear that he put movement marks around the bump, though, so maybe he's still alive. And yeah, that's the thing. Like, it seemed like Dan was dragging it, not carrying it. And, like, since they didn't bring it up again, I'm thinking Shagrinsky's fully dead. But the way that the bump and it looked like the movement marks made it look like it was coming out from within the bag, it just, I don't know. It was a really weird and confusing panel. Then, last comment for this week, Yurozuya White Bear Beppo. When I saw Hatsu's second scabbard, I got really happy. The two sword style may still live on. Yes, Hatsu two sword style. I'm I'm ready for that. I'm really happy as the second sword too. Um, he also says the thud panel also got me confused during my first read. Could be possible that he's alive, or the fact that they're just moving him, which makes a thud noise. Yeah, right now I guess it. I'm thinking that since they didn't bring it up this chapter, maybe it was just from them moving him, or maybe it'll play another role later on. I have no idea. I don't know what's going on with that. But, um, yeah, I think maybe it was just them moving him, or maybe he is still alive. I, I can't figure that one out. Still a mystery to me. And, um, this has been quite the, quite the long hot Q&A, guys. Um, it usually ends up being pretty long every week, though. Who am I kidding? But um, I'll go ahead and end it here, not dragging on too much longer for any of you, so I guess like this video if you did like it. Uh, be sure to comment down there, tell me what you thought of my answers, tell me if you have any more questions or comments, because I'll be so happy to answer them in next week's, and um, yeah, subscribe for more of everything I talked about in this video, and a lot more, because I'll be doing a lot more, of course. As I said, definitely check out that... Um, Check out that Mamusu video. I worked hard on it, guys. But, um, screw it. I'll just throw a link to it in the description. I'll friggin' promote myself in my description. I mean, it's my, it's my own channel. Just make it easier for you guys to find if you're interested in it at all. Um, and, uh, what else was I thinking? Follow on Twitter if you want as well. And, uh, I'll keep you updated there as best I can when I'm posting stuff or pushing stuff back or whatever. So thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.